नमस्कार इंडिया मेटोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम टू इन डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग लेट अस सी व्हाट द वेदर इज गोइंग टू बी ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट फाइव डेज ओवर द एंटायर कंट्री सो अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ साइक्लोनिक सर्कुलेशन ओवर नॉर्थ ईस्ट बे ऑफ बंगाल एंड नेबरहुड एंड ऑल्सो नॉर्थ साउथ ट्रफ हैवी टू वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल हैज अकर्ड ओवर उड़ीसा ओवर तेलंगाना एंड ओवर रायला सीमा एंड आइसोलेटेड हैवी रेनफॉल हैज अकर्ड ओवर नॉर्थ इंटीरियर कर्नाटका तमिलनाडु एंड कोस्टल आंध्र प्रदेश एंड टुडे दिस साइक्लोनिक सर्कुलेशन इज परसिस्टिंग ओवर नॉर्थ ईस्ट बे ऑफ बंगाल एंड नेबरहुड बट इट इज लाइकली टू मूव वेस्टवर्ड एंड लाई ओवर नॉर्थ ईस्ट बे ऑफ बंगाल एंड एट ज्वाइनिंग नॉर्थ वेस्ट बे ऑफ बंगाल बाई टुमारो एंड देर आफ्टर बाय बाय अराउंड फिफ्थ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर अ लो प्रेशर एरिया में फॉर्म ओवर नॉर्थ वेस्ट एंड एट ज्वाइनिंग वेस्ट सेंट्रल बे ऑफ बंगाल अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ दिस साइक्लोनिक सर्कुलेशन एंड देन वी विल सी इंक्रीज इन रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी over uh, south odisha south chatisgarh vidarbha and southern parts of madhya pradesh and also over maharashtra so today uh, a a trough is also extending from this cyclonic circulation over northeast bay of bengal to coastal andhra pradesh and a cyclonic circulation is lying over andhra pradesh and adjoining telangana and under the influence of these systems we can see uh, cloud convection uh, intense cloud convection over central and uh, adjoining north bay of bengal and also over telangana and uh, and parts of rail sima as well so if we talk about uh, next 5 days weather so as india meteorological department has been predicting since last uh, uh, 7 to 10 days that the rainfall activity over east india would increase from 2nd of september so we can see that heavy rainfall has started realizing over odisha and adjoining parts of uh, uh, chatisgarh and uh, andhra pradesh and also over telangana so uh, during next 5 days this uh, uh, entire region of Odisha odisha chatisgarh telangana and coastal andhra pradesh is going to be active and uh, likely to continue to receive isolated heavy rainfall and also isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall would also be realized over this region and over central and west india uh, rainfall would increase from 5th of uh, september as we can see here that on 5th of september september isolated heavy rainfall is likely over east madhya pradesh uh, uh, also over vidarbha and then over uh, uh, marathwada and madhya maharashtra as well and over 6th uh, uh, the rainfall belt uh, may extend into west mp as well and on uh, as we can see 6th and 7th uh, we can see that entire madhya pradesh uh, vidarbh Mad- marathwada madhya madhya maharashtra and konkan are likely to receive isolated heavy rainfall so if we look into uh, during next 5 uh, days scenario district wise so we can see over here that over west bengal uh, isolated heavy rainfall is likely over uh, nadia north 24 pargana south 24 pargana purab uh, medinipur pashchim medinipur and jhargram uh, during next 24 hours and over uh, south 24 pargana uh, purbi medinipur and pashchim medinipur during subsequent 24 hours and light to moderate rainfall is likely at some to many places over uh, gangetic west bengal during next uh, 48 to 72 hours now if we come into odisha then isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall is likely uh, over odisha during next 4 uh, to 5 days as we can see uh, almost all the districts of odisha right from mayurbhanj balasore bhadrak uh, kyonjhar deogarh uh, dhenkanal katak uh, uh, and then and then angul sonpur sambalpur uh, baud kandhamal uh, kalahandi navrangpur koraput and malkangiri are likely to receive isolated heavy rainfall uh, during next uh, Uh, during next 24 hours and uh, and light to moderate rainfall is likely to be received at many to most places of odisha during next 24 hours then tomorrow also the similar type of situation is likely to uh, continue and and since the uh, cyclonic circulation over northeast bay of bengal is likely to come to uh, over the central parts of uh, 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 north bay of bengal so the rainfall activity over odisha may increase uh, tomorrow and isolated heavy to very heavy rain would also be received at uh, uh, some districts and then day after tomorrow on 5th of uh, september as we can see over puri khorda uh, khorda uh, ganjam kandhamal Kal- kalahandi nuwapada navrangpur raigada gajpati koraput and malkangiri and on 6th of uh, september uh, these these districts again are likely to receive isolated heavy rainfall and on 7th of uh, uh, september also there would be probability of isolated heavy rainfall over 
uh, almost all the southern districts of Odisha and isolated and, and light to moderate rainfall at many to most places of Odisha. Then if you come over to Chhattisgarh, then uh, Balrampur, Jashpur, Raigad, Baloda Bajar, uh, Janjgir and uh, uh, Raipur, Mahasamand, Garyabandh and Bastar and Sukma districts are likely to receive isolated heavy rainfall and uh, other districts of Chhattisgarh are likely to receive uh, light to moderate rainfall at many to most places and similar type of situation is likely to continue on 4th September as well and on 5th of September the rainfall intensity is likely to be uh, uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall that is 11 to 20 centimeter rainfall at isolated places of Jashpur, Balrampur, Surajpur, Korea, uh, Bilaspur, uh, Kanker, Narayanpur and Bastar and uh, uh, isolated heavy rainfall would continue on, on 6th and 7th of uh, September also at uh, certain districts of uh, uh, northeast Chhattisgarh as well as south uh, southern parts of Chhattisgarh. Then over Vidarbha if you talk about then during next two days over Vidarbha light to moderate rainfall at some to many places is likely and from 5th of September isolated heavy rainfall is likely over Gondia, Nagpur, Vardha, Chandrapur, Garchiroli and on uh, 6th and 7th of September on 6th of September, Gondia, Bhandara, Nagpur, uh, Yavatmal, Garchiroli and Vashim and on 7th of September, uh, Akola, Buldhana, Vashim, Yavatmal uh, districts are likely to receive isolated heavy rainfall. Then if you come over to Telangana, so uh, today as Telangana has uh, realized uh, isolated heavy rainfall, so again today uh, uh, Mancherial, ja Jagtial, Pedapalli, Karimnagar, uh, Rajanna, Sirsila and Jayashankar, uh, uh, Bhupal, Palli districts and, and including the districts of Maha, uh, Maha, Bubnagar, uh, Nagar, Kurnool and uh, Wana Parthi are likely to receive isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall and tomorrow again the district shown in uh, orange the, uh, that is Pedapalli, Jagti Al, Karim Nagar, Rajanna, Sirsila, Nizamabad, Kamareddi, uh, Medak, uh, Sangareddi, Vik uh, Vikarabad and uh, Mahbub Nagar and uh, Narayan, Narayan Pet are likely to receive isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall and day 3 also Telangana would continue to receive isolated uh, very heavy rainfall especially over western districts including uh, central districts of Jagtial, Pedapalli, uh, Rajanna, Sirsila and uh, Karim Nagar. Then if you come over to North Coastal Andhra Pradesh, then here also isolated heavy rainfall is likely uh, right from Parvatipuram, uh, Srikakulam, Vijayanagaram, Vishakapatnam and Alluri, Sitaram Raju, uh, Anakapalli and then uh, up to NTR and Krishna and, uh, and Bapatala districts and also over the Prakasam district and Rayal Sima also, uh, all the districts of Rayal Sima are likely to receive isolated heavy rainfall with the light to moderate rainfall at uh, 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 some to many places and uh, day two also the rainfall activity as the uh, uh, the uh, cyclonic circulation is likely to come over to the <laughs> Uh, central parts of north west bengal and day 3 when when the uh, there is a likelihood of formation of a low pressure area so our alluri sitaram raju and eluru districts isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall is also likely and thereafter on 6th and uh, 6th and 7th of september the rainfall activity would uh, slightly decrease uh, 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 on 6th of september almost all the districts of north cap are likely to receive isolated heavy rainfall but on 7th of september it is likely to significantly De uh, decrease and only the districts of Parvatipuram and Alluri Sitaram Raju are likely to receive isolated heavy rainfall. So that's all for today. Tomorrow we will again meet with Delhi weather briefing for weather warning during next five days. Thank you and goodbye.